Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and today we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is classification two. So looking at uh, the five kingdoms of classification, we have already discussed the, the kingdom Monela, Monera, that is, we have discussed the kingdom Protoctista, kingdom Fungi, kingdom Plantae, and now we are in kingdom Animalia. And in this kingdom Animalia, we have already discussed the phylum Arthropoda, and we are in the last class of phylum Arthropoda, and this is class Insecta. So class Insecta is the most uh, common, uh, is the one that has the highest number of animals within the animal kingdom. It has the largest number, it's the most abundant uh, class within the kingdom Animalia. So we can say that uh, examples include all the various insects that one can think of, grasshoppers, termites, cockroaches, butterflies, etc. So the number, the list is long. So basically that is the, uh, the class in sector and we are going to identify what are some of the unique features that we have in class in sector. Uh, the characteristics are uh, one of the most unique characteristic of the class in sector is that uh, they have three body parts That is the head, thorax, and abdomen. So basically the class in sector, uh, the members have three body parts as listed there. That is the head, thorax, and abdomen. Another characteristic that is also unique is that the thorax has three pairs of jointed legs, three pairs of jointed legs, of course modified for locomotion. Some insects have wings some have wings while others do not have. So among those that have wings, there are those that have uh, one, uh, one pair of wings and others have two pairs. So we can say that some have one pair of wings while others have two pairs especially things like the butterflies and the moths those ones have two pairs of wings whereas the bees and the house flies will have one pair of wings and of course the wings are modified for locomotion as well. So the wings are for locomotion. Another unique feature is that uh, they have one pair of antennae 
for sensitivity, the insects have one pair of antennae uh, for sensitivity. Gaseous exchange is through the tracheal system. Gaseous exchange is through the tracheal system. As learned earlier in the topic of gaseous exchange that was covered in Form 2. Uh, then uh, in the abdomen, they have less than 11 segments. There are less than 11 segments in the abdomen, while in the thorax, there are three. In the thorax are three segments. They have a pair of spiracles. They have a pair of spiracles in each thoracic, that is in the thorax, and abdominal segment. So in each segment there is a pair of spiracles. for breathing. So breathing, that is the entry of air from the atmosphere into the insect's body and also from the insect's body to the atmosphere is through the spiracles. But gaseous exchange is through the tracheal system. So these are different. Breathing is through the spiracles but gaseous exchange is through the tracheal system. As you know, the gaseous exchange is across a respiratory surface. But breathing is between the organism and its surroundings, that is the atmosphere. Excretion is by use of malpigian tubules, insects excrete uh, by use of malpigian tubules which excrete uric acid, which excrete uric acid to conserve water. So uric acid is excreted by the insects as a way of conserving water or as a way of minimizing uh, water loss from the insect's body. Insects, they also show complete or incomplete metamorphosis. They show either complete or incomplete metamorphosis during their growth and development. So complete metamorphosis is whereby they go through the egg, larva, pupa, adult. So you can have egg, Lava, pupa, and adult, then back to the egg. So that's what we are referring to as complete metamorphosis.
so it's a cycle. And then we have egg nymph adult. So this is incomplete metamorphosis. So insects can either have the first or the second type of metamorphosis during their growth and development. So we'll have an assignment. So the first question in the assignment, uh, distinguish between complete and incomplete metamorphosis. Number two, name the excretory structures in insects. And number three, lastly, state four unique features of insects not found in another class. So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.